Uh, what is skateboarding? Well, I guess for me it means freedom. Definitely a creative thing to uh, put my energy into. I mean, it's not one of the like one of those things like a sport. Like you kind of just pick it up and you kind of join a team, you're in this club. I mean, there's a little bit of that, but not too much. I mean, you get to be by yourself sometimes, but also if you get to be with your friends, it's really fun. I mean, it's different for most people. I think for other people, it's a way to be like an artist, but like if you're using your whole body, like your your mind, your, your soul. Because you put, you put a lot of work into it and all the stuff that you learn because you don't just pick it up in one day. I mean, I mean you can anybody can learn how to throw a baseball. I mean, that's pretty it's pretty easy when you're a young child. But like to like start riding a skateboard and to push off and to learn how to ollie, that, that takes a lot of time. And I remember when I started, it took me like four months approximately. And going into winter, it was like I had to really focus in on just getting the ollie and making it look good. Eventually I got it, it just took a while and then just adding to that, learning flips and other variations of it, it was like, man, this is a really hard thing, but I love it. And like the, the drive and dedication to actually learn new tricks, it really pushed me to kind of see like, not really what my limits were, but like how much I was willing to kind of put the work into Go. To get the effort out of really just trying one simple trick and yet it doesn't stop. Like you don't just learn the basics and just like okay I'm good like you don't just learn how to kick a soccer ball and then that's it you know like there's so much stuff you can do with it and because it's such a great creative outlet it allows you to be an individual person an individual spirit and there are certain things that you're gonna do that people won't do I mean if you look at skateboarders like maybe Paul Rodriguez the way how he skates like switch and regular so clean that it's like you just don't see that every day but then you see Chris Cole sometimes and he does those really funny things where he'll skate in like street league and he'll pop his bar up and he'll grab it. And it's really cool, you know? But like not everyone has to skate the same. And it's boring when everyone's the same. Like we like differences. We like to be our own individuals. It definitely attracts a lot of weird people. Like it doesn't just attract like the jocks, it doesn't just attract the nerds. It attracts like a whole spectrum of individuals who just want to be free, they want to enjoy life. When you're skateboarding, they get to do that. And I mean, I guess you could say it's really an art form because the world around you is your canvas. When we're at a skate park, it's some place that we can have fun with our friends and just hang out, but we also get to learn different things. And that's where it's really challenging because you're not sure how to do a certain trick, but once you keep trying it over and over again, you get to learn it. And it's not something that just comes to you like that. Through that perseverance, I was able to learn more about what it really takes to skateboard. Like it takes a lot of dedication, but you have fun with it. As Cole Lewison puts it in The Impossible, skateboarder is this. Whatever it is, it's never belonged. Not with surfing or scootering or roller or figure skating. Not on sidewalks or in parking lots or streets or public parks until 1993. As a result, it draws people who don't fit into these places either and organically nurtures them into some life-saving sense of belonging. At least that's the case with Rodney Mall, with Rodney, the most important skateboard in history. And what he says is true. From the outside looking in, we do seem kind of weird because skateboarding is weird. It's not like all in the name of, it's just that our personality comes out more through skateboarding than we find it through sports or through our day jobs. That's who we are on some level, but you'd have to get to know us first before really kind of putting whatever thought would be on your stereotypes and stuff like that. Stairs aren't just a set of stairs, they're something that you can do a trick over. I mean, rails or something that you can practice your balance on. And ledges are something that you can just, you have fun with it. The world is your playground. I mean, you walk outside your house and you're part of that, that living history of different skateboard tricks that go on, you know? You're challenged by all these different objects that really kind of put you to the test of like the basics that you've learned and how far you're able to push it. Your local park is like like training, you know? For like a real thing, for the streets, because that's really where it matters. That's where a lot of street skating comes into play, but also kind of makes you like, I don't know, it's like, that's the place where you like, you state your name like, my name is Alex Bailey and I skate street. This is what I skate, you know? And 
like through making videos and watching different people skate and seeing different photos, it's like you see what other people get to do and it, it like inspires you. It's definitely a lifestyle that's turned into like a really, really big subculture, but it's been accepted by like mainstream popularity, all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's definitely a culture. And if you're just an onlooker, pass by or looking in, I mean, just ask us like why we do it. Cause I'm sure a lot of us will give you a general reason, but like, I mean, it's freedom, it's creativity, it's art. And I don't know, I guess that's why I skate. I mean, I think that's what skateboarding means to me on some level, but yeah, I just enjoy it while I can. I love a skateboarder.